This month, our artist spotlight is Sarah Jones, the head of the art department at the art school in Lakeland. Sarah uses found objects and recycled materials to express herself through a variety of different mediums. Her father encouraged her from an early age to see the beauty in everyday objects, and she carries on with that tradition to this very day. Here's a look at the artwork of Sarah Jones. My name is Sarah Jones. Uh, I like to create mixed media art, basically whatever's handed to me. I could work with ceramics, photography, drawing, painting. I like doing a lot of commissioned work for people too, so it could be your band's album artwork to your family's portraits. I really started with photography when I was pretty young. My dad's a graphic designer, and both he and my mom really encouraged me to be creative. They would buy me disposable cameras when I was like three years old and let me just take pictures and they'd go get them developed for me. Like I said, I was homeschooled until the ninth grade. Then I went to public school. I went to Lakeland Senior High School, and I took every possible art class that I possibly could. I took PE online so that I could take more art classes in person. My guidance counselor knew me for that. Um, so I took ceramics classes. I took digital and film photography classes. I took graphic design, art history, drawing, painting. I, if, if I could learn it, I tried to. Back when I was in high school, I would pick up recycled things. My dad and I would go on walks after dinner, like almost every night, and we would just like find weird things and keep them. I swear I'm gonna be a hoarder one day because I just find these things. I'm like, I can't throw this away. I could use this for something. But my dad had like a collection of, he found this really flat fork that had been run over in the road for forever and he had that. He found this three-headed dragon toy that he had found in the road and I don't know, he just kind of instilled that weird like association with objects and places and time for me that I think it, it kind of traveled over into my artwork without me realizing it. A lot of the time, more so as of recently, I've found a piece of material and thought this would be perfect for making some type of art like this. Recently I found this picture frame and the colors on it I thought were beautiful. Very uh, reminiscent of, you know, the 80s or 90s. Um, and I, the title of this one is Life Just Keeps Handing Me These. <laughs> and, uh, it was when I was going through a particularly frustrating time and it just seemed like things kept happening one after the other and I couldn't get caught up with the first thing that had happened to me. So a lot of the time I will find a frame or a piece of wood or whatever it may be. Um, this one that I'm working on back here is a bunch of linoleum floor tiles that I glued onto a canvas. Um, and I will, once I've found the medium, I'll usually take about a week or two to figure out what I'm going to put on there. And more often than not, it's something that I'm going through currently or something someone else is telling me about. It's almost always based on some type of feeling or experience that I've had. I'm not the best at talking about the way I'm feeling, so it's almost always going to go onto a piece of paper or whatever I have at the time, whatever I pulled out of the trash and thought was pretty. <laughs> so, um, my friend Wendy Bradshaw opened our school. She asked if I would come be the art teacher there, which was the single most flattering thing that had ever been said to me ever because I'd only recently decided I wanted to teach art and she knew me from my best friend in high school. and. The fact that she thought of me was just incredible, but I to this day have not taken it for granted because seeing these kids, you know, come in here not sure if they even want to be in this class, and then by the end, 
They are bringing me things that they've made at home to show me and they're so proud of themselves and they're asking me, you know, can you post this on the school's Facebook or, you know, can we show that, can we hang this up? And as for my philosophy, you can ask any of my students um, what I always say to them if they start getting, you know, frustrated with their own work or, you know, maybe someone's not saying the nicest things about their work. Miss Sarah always says, you know, I don't think there's such a thing as good and bad artists. There's only different types of artists. Some of these kids that I come into contact with don't have the tools or the capabilities to communicate like their peers. They, you know, might get frustrated in group settings or prefer to be by themselves or they can't be by themselves for a second. They need to be constantly talking. Whatever it is, I've found that they all have a common ground in the visual arts. You know, they can give a message through a piece of art if they're not able to talk about it with their mouths, you know? So I think it's really important just to let them know that they can be heard in all different types of ways. I'm trying to instill in them to not be so hard on themselves or others around them, and then really just trying to teach them just the basic elements of art so that they know how to look at artwork and talk about it amongst themselves. When I graduated high school, I moved out of Lakeland because I had the whole, like, Meh, teen angst, I hate my small town, I can't wait to get out of here. And I lived in Tampa for two years, which was such a huge mistake. Um, I had like kind of already made a name for myself in Lakeland. I had, you know, commissioned work all the time. I had been, you know, published in a couple things. And then I go to Tampa and it's so heavily populated. And when you have a place like Lakeland, when everybody knows each other and everyone has the opportunity to lift each other up. I mean, places like Polk County, while we're not, you know, oversaturated with people, we've got to, you know, establish that we stand for positive things. And if supporting local artists is one of those, then, then that's important that we do that. And I think we have a lot of really good things in place now to support local artists and my one thing that I should say to that regard is let's just make sure that we're supporting new and upcoming people the more unique stuff not what you're used to seeing every day support everyone equally obviously but I see so many people going overlooked because it's not the typical type of art that you see. And Polk County has done an excellent job of that so far. We have blossomed as a city and, you know, pushing forward the local artists and the local talent that we have because everybody's coming out of the woodwork now. Like Lakeland is the place to be to have your art supported, you know. We want that to be how people view Polk County. There are a lot of things that you could associate with the county now, but let's make it, you know, we support our local businesses and our local artists. And if you want to move to a town that supports you so you can be successful, let's make that, let's make this the town to be. So I think if everybody does their part, and I feel like that's, what I'm getting to do here at the school, I'm getting to let these kids know what you do here is important. You know, that's, I'm doing what I can. To keep up with the artwork of Sarah Jones, you can find her on Facebook. Just search for Sarah Jones Visual Artist.